Sisters, it's homecoming week and I'm Abby. I'm Elliot. And this is KGTR. This year is Catherine Tree's 50th anniversary. So let's see what some of our alumni have to say. Hey Gators, I'm Mary. And I'm Emily. As many of you know, this year is Captain Tree's 50th anniversary. So we caught up with some alum to talk about their experiences here at Tree. My name is Bernard Kimball. I graduated from Captain Shreve in 1971. My name is Amy Turner. I graduated from Shreve in 1992. Uh, my name is Vincent Gonzalez. I graduated in 2015. The most powerful lesson that I took from Captain Shreve is the power of diversity. Being the first integrated class to graduate from Captain Shreve High School in 1971, it was a rewarding experience that has helped me down through life. Football influenced me because my coach, Coach Larry, he always pushed me to do better. The best memory from homecoming, of course, would be the participation in the marching band. The halftime show was just simply awesome. Gator Highline uh, was composed of about 30 girls. We won a ton of awards, went to Macy's, performed in the Macy's Parade. Um, we didn't have a whole lot of money at the time. We were the first, first dance line, so everything was homemade. So when it got really cold, we had these awesome uh, sweatshirts and matching sweatpants. Um, there was a little bow right here. It was really, really, really cute at the time. Pop quiz for those of you that don't know. The Gator Highline, the first name that we voted on was the Captain's Crew. But the day after we voted on it and they announced it over the intercom, it sounded, <laughs> you can't even put that on there. <laughs> they changed it because it sounded like Captain's Crew. <laughs> Some of the changes, interestingly enough, was the press box seating at the ball games. On home games, uh, we always sat on the, uh, the other side, the, the one that faced west. And so I think it was in 95, 96, they changed it because everybody said, you know, we're sitting in the sun. We're looking straight at the sun while the guests are sitting in the shade. So uh, Dr. McCullough brought it to the student council and the student body and they said, yeah, we want to change. So that changed. Some of the things that remain the same is we back into the parking spaces. Many people wonder why we back into parking spaces at Captain Tree. I thought Stanley Powell had a very good reason for doing that. He said it cuts down on accidents by students. As you can see, Captain Tree remains home for many of these alumni. We hope you have a great time at homecoming. I'm Laura. I'm Kaylin. And I'm Emily. And today we're going to be searching for the, the Fallout, Fallout Shelter. shelter. On a mission. <gasps> what? What? Oh, she's just a gator. She's just a gator, y'all. She's just a gator. We got word that the fallout shelter was in the auditorium. So first, we climbed up the ladder and we found supplies. Then we went down under and we found bricks. All right, you guys, we are still searching for the fallout shelter. It's crazy out here, man. I mean, Oh yeah. Anybody there? Uh, I don't think this is there. No? Okay, we'll try it. Okay. Eventually we gave up and we decided to just go ask Miss Carter. Miss Carter, where is the fallout shelter? This is the fallout shelter. The whole school is the fallout shelter. We found the fallout shelter! Hey Gators, this is Alicia and guess what? We've added a new spear group to our school, and it's our very own Flagline. Flagline has been inactive for several years at Shreve, but we're so excited to see how well they'll do this year. So, come along with me, and we'll see who's behind it all.
morning. I am Maria Edwards, Assistant Principal of Student Services and Instruction here at Captain Shreve. I'm excited that we actually have a flag line to start with. I'm, I'm excited that our girls uh, chose to be in this spirit group and that they are actually showing other young ladies and men, if you will, that uh, there are other options here at Captain Shreve to pursue. For these girls that don't fit into other groups, they can join this group and kind of have their own little community, but yet still have fun and support the school. So that's kind of what we're excited about. It's amazing. Oh my God, y'all just don't know. Like, this is so fun. All the practicing and prepping that we did for this, we came out and we gave it our all, gave it our best. Well, Gators, as you can see, Flagline has a lot in store for us this year. I'm Alicia, signing off for KGTR. What's up Gators? I'm Jacob and today I'm going to be asking our beloved Mr. Sylvie to this year's homecoming and I'm a little bit nervous but I've got some things that may persuade him to go with me. Um, I've got roses. I heard Mr. Sylvie's kind of a rose man so decided he may like these and a bag of Reese's because I heard he likes Reese's so we'll see how it goes. Here we go. Excuse us. I'm going to ask Sylvia a question. Excuse us. Pardon me. How's it going, Mr. Sylvie? Um, roses are red. Reese's are brown. Please don't send me to be a mom. I'm going to homecoming with you. Yeah. Anybody else out there? Anybody else out there? Dad, yeah, get out of my office. Hey, hey, leave the reasons though. Um, so, how, how do you think it went? I, th I think it went okay. I think you just need some time to think about it. Yeah, yeah. Are you crying? No. Thanks for watching. This has been KGTR. Hope to see y'all at all of our homecoming festivities.